Whether you're a brand new youth flag football coach or you're looking for an edge, you got to get your hands on Coach D's Complete Coach Package. It is by far my most popular item yet. It'll give you everything you need to crush it this season as a complete coach, including all my playbooks, all my drill packs, 200 plays, 35 drills, 32 age-based practice schedules, and more. Go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com, click on the complete coach package and get yours today. And make sure you subscribe to the Flag Football with Coach D YouTube channel so you never miss a video on defense, offense, plays, and more. Everything you need to crush it as a coach. Now let's jump into this week's video. Hi everyone, this is Coach D and Sammy hanging out. Uh, we're on the field today and we're talking about four different touchdown plays that Sammy here is gonna show us how to execute from a quarterback's perspective. Yesterday we worked on a couple of really awesome, really tight uh, routes, and we're gonna show that to you out here on the field. So I'm gonna open up the playbook. We're gonna go through some of these routes. Um, the first one that we wanna show you is the out and up, okay? You have an out and an up where Sammy is going to fake the out, right? and then give a nice quick, uh, and then we're gonna go up, right? That's the go pattern, and that's gonna go long. So Sammy, yesterday we talked about this a little bit. What were some things that, as a quarterback, you have to think about when you're doing something like a, an out and an up pattern? Um, make sure to go over their head yeah. when drawing it. Now, is there a different technique when you're doing like short pass versus like over the top? Yeah. What happens? What, what's the difference? Um, one, you're going over your head and the other one you kind of don't really have to. Right. I notice sometimes you do this like Patrick Mahomes kind of like sidearm type of, of throw for like that, the out pattern. And then, yeah, we were talking about going up and over. Is that kind of awkward or how did that feel yesterday? It was all right? All right. See where everyone's at, making sure that they are not the only ones that you can throw to. Right. Okay, good. So when you're thinking about, okay, I, I have one specific route that I want to focus on, you also need to make sure if they're covered that you're looking at your other progressions. You're looking kind of at your other receivers just in case they're open and you could maybe even go for like a check down, right? Which is this, this center. But all right, so with this one, What's important when you're doing a, a fake for this out? It's not like a ball. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's true. Don't want to let go of the ball. Um, how did you? How did you get kind of control of uh, of this fake? You haven't really done that before. It's just practice. Practice. Just practice. All right. So you're gonna see. We're gonna do it in just a second. But what she's gonna do is she's gonna fake this out, right? And the hope is that the defense bites on it. And then I'm gonna go straight up after that. And she's gonna hit me long right here. Well, let's show it to you out here on the field. Um, as the, uh, the kids get a little bit older, so Sammy's now in eighth grade, last year on the team, right? Um, as they get older, you're gonna see we spread this out. Sammy, let's show them real quick how this play right here is actually mapped out here on the field. You'll see way over here, you have your wide receiver. Then you have another wide receiver. This is called the slot, Sammy. So the, the person between the center and that way out, right? The wide out, you have the slot receiver, right? You have your center, your quarterback, and then we have a way over there. You can't even see him. Let's see. Yeah, popped way out. So that's what this looks like out here on the field. So if you're using my playbook, if you're using any of the plays that we're doing, a lot of times it might look kind of close, but we wanna, we wanna pop those out as much as possible. All right, let's show you this first one, the out and the up. As you can see, 
It really depends on the quarterback's arm as well. You know, if it's if it's too far or, or whatnot, you can bring it a little bit tighter and work to get comfortable with the spacing. But over time, they'll be able to, and you saw as you kind of, right? You did the, the nice little pump fake, and then you went over the top, which was really nice. How did it feel? Okay. Yesterday we were a little bit closer, a little bit tighter uh, with practice. It, it'll get there. Very nice. Now, Sammy, I noticed, are you looking at me the whole entire time? Yeah. Okay. Another thing, Sammy, that you want to do is you want to look off the defense. So she's also looking at the other uh, wide receivers over here at the same time. So if I know I'm going to be going over here, right? I know that I'm going to go for that out, that uh, out and up. Instead of just looking over there, I might also just quickly look over here so it draws the defense to other wide receivers. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, let's do another one. This next one is more for that short yardage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the slot receiver, this C right here, they're gonna do a corner route, okay? And at the same time, B here is going to do a post. So a post is gonna come this way and then she's gonna wait. She's gonna wait just a little bit of time for this um, corner to open up. And this is really for like that short yardage you're trying to get the end zone. You're maybe getting an extra point or something like that. So we talked about this yesterday and then she's also gonna roll out. So you'll see that here as well. All right, let's put that on the field. This one's a little bit tighter. So what I'm telling Sammy right now is on that throw, you want it to go to the back shoulder. So you want to have it go. If I'm running to the corner of the end zone, there's probably going to be somebody right behind me, like where Sammy is trying to block. So you want to make it almost impossible for anybody else to get it. And for just that wide receiver to be able to get it. Very coachable, good job. So what was the difference there? <laughs> hey, sometimes they don't know, but if they can do it on the field, I'm all about it. All right, with this one, so I'll show it to you real quick. So on this one, we didn't do this one yesterday. Um, there's two levels here. So B is gonna be like that kind of first level um, and what we like to do Sammy let's see okay cool what we like to do is have a lot of distractions okay as this one goes up the defender is going to follow them this way as I'm going up and right when I make my cut because of all the distraction going on this defender is distracted so I should have a nice open receiver right here in the middle of the field. Again, what we're working on is knowing your progressions, meaning like I'm looking at, you know, C, uh, C uh, the center, I'm looking at C, I'm looking at B, I'm looking at A. I'm looking at all the different options out there, making a quick decision. But if this is the one I, I want, you have to be really patient. And we talked about leading. Do you remember leading? What does that mean? Uh, you go to where they're going, not to where they're at. Okay. And you have to be somewhat patient, even though a, a rusher is coming in. You have to be kind of patient because you know that this is going to open up in just a minute. Just give me a couple more seconds and then it should open up. So be patient. And that's why it's really important for kids to be able to run the correct route. Because if they run kind of a weak route, this can get really messy. But if she has the confidence, 
that bee is gonna run this nice, tight, um, short post, then she should be able to see that right here, okay? All right, let's do it. Why am I saying yes, yes, yes? Because I led you to the goal where you were supposed to go. What was the difference between the last two and the first one? Uh, the first one you stopped to have to grab the ball, the last two you keep running. Yeah, because most likely, again, the cornerback are probably going to be back here or maybe they're up here. But if you hit me in stride, that was awesome. Another thing we talked about is not all the kids on your team are gonna be the same speed. So, while I catch my breath, what's the principle there? What should you practice, or who should you practice with? Um, probably an adult or a sibling. Okay, why? Just to get uh, the better feeling of like how to throw it, and if you do different people, you could see the different speeds that you have to deal with. Yeah, and if you don't have different people and it's just one person you're gonna practice with, you can also do, have them do half speed, three quarter speed, then full speed, right? Uh, so that your quarterback can practice with the different, okay. And immediately they'll be like, all right, that's three quarter speed. Ooh, that's full speed, right? They have to adjust based off of the speed of the player. Excellent, cool. So you're able to hit me in stride right across the field, right? And it's, it's most likely gonna be wide open, all right? Wide open. Um, I also told her that this person right here, they're not on the line of scrimmage, so they're gonna pop out. And she also has this, if this whole field is all messed up and, and cluttered, she's gonna have this nice um, go pattern pretty much wide open. Let's try that one. Let's just see what she's got on the over the top. Watch for the over the top. Let's check that out. One thing that Sammy likes to do is she likes to write numbers. Yeah. What number are you up to? 11,880. Literally one, two, three, four, all the way up. At the beginning, her fives probably looked a little funky, but after 1,000, after 2,000, after 11,500, <laughs> the fives looking pretty nice. So spend the time, throw it out. That's what I'm saying, whether it's with a sibling, a parent, a friend, whatever, just get on the field start throwing it. This is a new motion for Sammy. For your quarterback, it might be something new. So get comfortable with it. Cool. And then our last one, we're gonna keep this one tight. This is like, you're trying to go for short yardage. Maybe you're trying to go for that first down. Maybe you're trying to go uh, an extra point, something like that. You'll see the, the center here. It's gonna go a nice slant. And again, even though the star, which is the one that we're focused on, is what we're hoping to get, a lot of times some of these other ones might open up. This one might be covered. So we're also working on making sure you're looking at the entire field and not just that one. Let's show them how uh, this one's set up a little tighter. So on this one, so you have your center is here, wherever. Um, and what the center has to do is wait, right? Center waits while the other, uh, while the others are gonna run their routes. So let's show you here. 
So, and the quarterback is gonna kind of roll out with the center going that way. That's why you see her rolling out that way. But all of this is gonna kind of clear out and that's why the center is waiting. So she has to be super patient to hold on. <laughs> now, if for some reason this opens up or A opens up, she absolutely can go for it. But that's what we're looking for, okay? We're looking for it's close yardage. It's like five yards or under. Let's try to Being patient, right? Following. You know you're going for that center, but if the center was covered, what else could you do? Go to another player that was open. Okay. Cool. All right, so what are some kind of fundamentals? What are some things that we have to think about? Let's say when we do an out and then the up. Uh, make sure to sell the fake. Ooh, nice. And make, know that they aren't the only person that's open. Totally. Now, if you are kind of dedicated to that one, then I'm selling the fake and then I'm, so it's not gonna be like, sell the fake, you know? You feel yeah. like, ah, it's pretty quick, like you mm -hmm. did, nice. What's important when you're thinking about kind of that corner? Um, try to hit them where they're going. Yeah. And go over them. Yeah, over the top. So we talk about over the top. So if I'm running to the corner of the end zone, she wants to, and you can come in. <laughs> she wants to throw it over here because the defender is probably where she is. And so you want to hit it right here. Nice. Okay. What about the one kind of right in the middle? Um, watch where they're going. Yeah. Not where they're at again. And, um, that's true. Be patient and watch the rusher and what, how fast they're coming in. Totally. What do you do with the rushers if they're coming in? Like, does that distract you from what you're looking at? A little, and it could put you on the wrong side to throw it. Okay. So, so like, if, if you, you're, which way are you dominant? Uh, left. Okay. So then you need to, would you run this way or would yeah. you run that way? Okay. So you want to run this way. So then you can, uh -huh. okay, that's interesting. But depending on the play, you might want to run the other way. Okay, all right. And with that one, if you have somebody going across the field like we had, so B was going up and then they're doing a post right in front of you, that's where you want to practice that speed, right? Because if depending on how fast they are, you want to put it right in front of them so that they can basically like outstretch their arms and keep running. So that's where that practice comes in with that one. And then the final one, where we just have the center coming across, what are we thinking about? Um, watch the rusher again, and make sure you have eyes on all your other players as well. Okay, that's smart. So even though I'm, I'm waiting for this one to kind of open up, I still, if I see something else, I might yeah. be able to, okay. Cool, awesome. Well, Sammy, thank you very much for hanging out. We hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have anything that you need we've got playbooks at flag football with coach d.com and remember if you like what you see this is coach d and sammy remember to subscribe you know smash the bell all that stuff right there's a bunch of stuff right stuff that we're supposed to say make sure you comment you share we'll see you in the next video take care let's go clean up okay.